Hey guys, it's Cece. Welcome back to my channel this week. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I hope you do enjoy this type of content. And if you do, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell as I post videos every single week. Today's case, guys, is pretty brutal and has it all. So grab your drinks, grab your snacks, grab whatever you need to hang out with me today. And let's just get right into this case. Today we are covering the tragic case of Orsalia Gal. I do apologize in advance for the noise you may hear in the background, but it is extremely hot in my apartment and I super, super need the fan to survive, so I do apologize. Orsalia Gal was a 51-year-old woman living in Queens, New York. She had a husband and two sons aged 13 and 17. She lived in Forest Park with her family and it was said to be a pretty safe neighborhood. However, a vicious crime was about to shake that quiet neighborhood. On Saturday, April 16th, a local dog walker reportedly came across a duffel bag near a local park at around 8 a.m. The dog walker noticed blood on the duffel bag and called the police. When the police arrived, they discovered the body of 51-year-old Orsolia Gal stuffed inside the duffel bag. She had been stabbed multiple times as well as her throat had been slashed. The body had been discovered along a parkway and the police had actually noticed a trail of blood leading up to where the scene was discovered. So the police decided to follow the trail and it ended up leading all the way back to Orsolia's front door. They found her 13 year old son unharmed and it actually turned out to be his hockey bag that she was discovered stuffed inside. It's important to note that the police found no signs of forced entry suggesting the suspect was most likely somebody or Solia knew. The police discovered a gruesome crime scene in the basement and they quickly knew that she had been attacked in her own home while her 13 year old son was upstairs. The police initially thought the son may have been involved and they even handcuffed him and took him down for questioning but they were quickly able to debunk that once they started looking into the family's handyman. So the police had seen a note on Orsolia's fridge saying, I need a new handyman. And after speaking with friends and family, they uncovered that Orsolia had a dark secret that would lead to her demise. Police had discovered that she and her handyman 44-year-old David Bonola had actually been having an affair. Orsulia allegedly tried to end things with David, but he had developed feelings for her and even began stalking her. David is a divorced father of two who had two children and was said to be living in the U.S. illegally. Police had also discovered that David had a serious obsession with brutal crime videos, including S.A., which if you guys don't know what that is, you can look it up, but uh, due to YouTube's guidelines, I can't say that here on my channel. They ended up finding search results on his computer in the days leading up to the murders. The search results included things like how to win somebody back and how to deal with a married woman. Police also found a bloody jacket and bloodstained tissues in the suspect's home. They also uncovered boots, a t-shirt, and blood-soaked bandages near the park where Orsolia's body was found stuffed in her own son's hockey bag. According to the police affidavit, they believe that the handyman and ex-lover went to the victim's home to try to win her back because he knew that the husband and oldest son were out of town. Orsolia's husband and oldest son were out searching for colleges at the time of her death. 
it is not known at this time or at least at the time of me recording this video whether or not her husband knew of the affair but man what a way to find out if he didn't know now the handyman knew where the extra key to the house was and as i mentioned earlier in this video there was no signs of forced entry however they are unsure if he let himself in or if orsolia let him in they don't know at this time but regardless the police believe that he went there to win her back and she refused. He then became enraged, stabbed her to death, and stuffed her in her own son's hockey bag. Now I'm not sure how her son didn't hear anything. I mean I understand that that probably was one of the reasons why the police were initially suspicious of him, but you know these kids these days they're always on their headphones, buried in their games, we just we just don't know. David then drug her body for over a mile down along the parkway off the local park and left her there. After searching through doorbell footage, the police were actually able to find video evidence of the man that they believed to be David Benella, the handyman and ex-lover, dragging the duffel bag down the street. When the police arrested David, he had cuts and bandages all over his hands, which he tried to blame on being a clumsy handyman. Like, what are the chances? However, the police were not buying it and once confronted with the evidence, David broke down and admitted to everything. He told police that him and the victim were in fact having an affair. He had developed feelings for her and admitted to going down to Orsolia's home to try to convince her to stay with him. Because the police could not prove that he went there with the intention of killing her, they could not arrest him on first degree murder. However, he was arrested and charged with second degree murder and faces up to 25 years to life in prison if convicted. And y'all, if that wasn't bad enough, the police also discovered that after the murder, David had stolen Ursulia's phone and began to text her husband, threatening him and the two boys. And how horrible for the 13 year old son to not only have been present in the home and defenseless at the time of her death, but to also be handcuffed and drugged through the mud and accused of actually committing the murder himself. This is truly a horrifying case and has left a family forever broken. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think of this case and let me know if you would like me to cover any other cases. I try to keep you with the latest cases but I also would like to hit you up with some old school mysteries as well. So Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you enjoy makeup, if you enjoy true crime, or just one or the other. And I post videos every single week. I would love it if you would join me, so don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you in my next one.